Hello everyone. In this video, we will have a look at algebraic identities. Now, to understand what are identities, I will take one example. Let us say, I have to simplify this. a multiplied by a plus 5. If I simplify this, I will have to multiply this outside a with every term inside this bracket. So, a into a gives me a square and a into 5 gives me 5a and there is a plus sign here, 5a. Let us take another thing here. I will call 2a plus 3 equal to 15. Now, we have learned equation and we know that equation has this equal to sign. So, we have equal to sign here, we have equal to sign here and that may result in v believing that this is an equation. But this is not an equation, though this is an equation. Now, what is the difference between them? To understand the difference, let us take certain value of a and solve this. a is equal to 1 and we will solve this for this value of a. We will solve LHS as well as RHS. So, replace a is equal to 1 in LHS, I get that is 1 in bracket 6 and the value is 6. So, LHS is equal to 6 and let us see what is RHS. RHS is 1 square plus 5 into 1 is equal to 1 plus 5 and that is also equal to 6. So, we see that both LHS and RHS are same 6. So, 6 is equal to 6. Very good. Let us take replace A is equal to 1 here. So, my LHS would be 2 times 1 plus 3 that is 2 plus 3 and that is equal to 5. Whereas my RHS is equal to 15 and they are not equal. So, definitely A is equal to 1 is not solution of this equation or we can say that this equation is does not hold true for the value A is equal to 1. What about A is equal to 6? Let us do this. LHS is equal to 6 into 6 plus 5, which is 6 into 11 and that is equal to 66. And RHS in this case is 6 square plus 5 into 6. thirty six plus 30 and that is equal to 66. So, this one which we are calling as identity is valid even for a is equal to 6. And here let us see. And it is equal to 15. And we know RHS is equal to 15. So, yes, they are equal and hence a is equal to 6 satisfies this equation. What I am trying to show you that in case of equation, the equation is satisfied for limited values of variable. In this case, it is only 6. This equation is valid only for 6. If I take any other value of variable a, this equation would not be valid. Whereas, in this case, I take any value of a, I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, any value of a we will find that LHS is always going to be equal to RHS. The reason is very simple because we have just simplified the left hand side to get the right hand side. And that is the main difference between identity and equation. Identity is valid for any value of variable. Whereas, equation is valid only for certain number of, definite number of values 
of variable. In this video, we are going to look at three standard identities. The first one is a plus b bracket square. Now let's solve this using what we have learned earlier. So a plus b bracket square is same as a plus b multiplied by a plus b. And now we know we have to multiply this term individually by first a and then by b. So it would be a into a plus b. Then the plus sign here plus b into a plus b. And now again using distributive rule we can multiply each term inside the bracket with the term outside the bracket. So it would be a square plus a b plus b into a is b a plus b square. Now we know that a b and b a they are same because it is a multiplication a into b is same as b into a. So I am going to write this b into a as a b. The reason a b is same as b a. And now I get these are like terms. So like terms I can add. I will add the coefficients and will keep the non-numerical factors as it is a square plus coefficient here is 1, here it is also 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2ab plus b square. And that gives us our first standard identity which is a plus b whole bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similarly, we will see the second identity. The second identity is a minus b bracket square. First we had a plus, here we have a minus b. We will solve it same way a minus b multiplied by a minus b square. So multiplied by itself two times. So now it will be a multiplied by a minus b. So this term multiplied by the bracket minus this term b multiplied by the bracket. And now again we will simplify this. We will multiply this term outside the bracket with each of the term inside the bracket. So a into a gives a square. a into minus b gives minus ab minus b into a gives minus b a and minus b into minus b gives plus b square. Minus minus same gives plus. We saw in our last identity that a b is same as b a. Commutative rule a into b is same as b into a. And hence now like terms minus minus which means addition addition of coefficient 1 and 1 2 and sign minus and that gives us the second identity which is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square we will look at the third standard identity in our next video. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.